Yo, yo, yo. Yo. You did that that loud, it cut out again. <laughs> You're kidding. No. It can't, it can't cut out. We're not using that software anymore. Oh. I don't know. I, it's me and tech. <laughs> oh. Oh. Just nothing wants to work for me, like, at any point ever. You're going to have to, in post now, put in a, a, a big yo where I said yo really loudly. Oh, we, well, I think we got the gist of it. <laughs> okay. All right, then. Fair enough. Oh, dear. right. We're on episode 102. Oh, so many episodes in now. I can't, I can't believe we're past the 100 mark. I know. I feel like that was something that we've been waiting for such a long time yeah we, we saw know, it coming and now it's been and it's past us and it's it's, it's been and past yeah it's well in history now yeah oh you think of all the chat all the chat all the shit we chatted in all them episodes oh, man. we we've we've just put think, the, we have put the world to rights i we really have and you know just just to think that there are some ogs who have listened to every single episode, Andy. Um, <laughs> I think he, he needs a medal. <laughs> Andy does need a medal. And you know what? Andy has re-listened to some as well and gone back and started again and things like that. So, yeah, honestly, Andy Andy deserves something. I, <laughs> I don't know what. But if we ever think of something, we'll... We'll have to do something for Andy, one feels. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he made Uncle Jerry for us, of course, oh, which is, yeah, was the Jerry. inspiration yeah. for the, for the uh, what would you call it? The little character, the little, what what is, what is he? What is it? He's little... a mascot. Yeah, but I mean. He's, he's like, your inspiration, maybe of not. Him. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, dear. How's your week oh. been? Yeah, it's not been too bad, actually. How often do I say that? (laughs) (laughs) It's actually been all right, yeah. Um, Oh, and there was uh, me loading a new clip thinking, you might come in handy. Oh, do do I need to redo this? Ask me again, ask me again. What you need to do is you need to say, it's been hit hit and miss. Well, Well, especially today. Okay. Go on then. Well, it's, it's been hit and miss, especially today. Oh, what a day. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> What's that from? It's it's Harvey, isn't it? Katie Price's son. Oh, of course it is. Oh, what a day. <laughs> oh, bless him. He's amazing, isn't he? Harvey, yeah, I, I, have, love I have been, like, laying off the clips. But that one came to mind before. I was thinking, like, that is a meme that, like, you can still get with i actually cannot believe that of all the harvey clips that's the one you went with (laughs) (laughs) it's probably the most suitable one i could use suitable for what look as if as if i haven't dropped these bombs before (laughs) i think you should just go for it just go full harvey why not (laughs) (laughs) oh dear how are your um tamagotchis I oh that's a good name for one of them. Um, they, <laughs> so, that, that, so that could actually, if you just jump from like episode ten to episode like hundred and two, you could think we're actually talking to your digital pet. <laughs> think I've got thirty six Tamagotchis. <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> oh my god, I'd go spare. No, they're doing amazingly. They're I've... growing so quickly um, that I'm gonna have to put them. In individual tub suit. Oh, well, I'm okay. going to put them in pairs. They're going to be paired. What are they yes. called again? Sorry. Axolotls. Axolotls. Okay. Yes. <laughs> You've got a lot or of axolotls. It, yes. Or as your biggest fan would say, Aristotles. Aristotles. Yeah. Yes. Aristyles. Yeah. Aristyles. Oh, we're going to have to call one Aristyles, yeah. aren't we? Got 37 Aristyles. Well, my lovely daughter named one because it was just swimming very slowly, but just swimming little laps around the top of the tank. And so she called it Taylor Swim. <laughs> That's clever. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So so did you have a send off for, for, for the yeah. injured for party? For Timmy. Timmy. Yeah. Timmy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> poor Timmy. Yes. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, my daughter was very upset about it, I have to say. How do how do you how do you do that? I will tell you later. I feel like it's one of those things. It was done in a humane way, but I don't feel like it's the sort of thing you put out there because you don't know who's going to use it for the wrong reasons, if that makes sense. Okay, fair dues. I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later <laughs> okay. between you and me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so have you seen uh, what everyone's talking about this week? Probably not. If it's not baby reindeer, it's then I baby don't reindeer. Know. It's exactly. I watched that. it. Well, I watched it. Yes, finally something we can talk about that's topical. <laughs> Have you watched it? I've watched it. Oh, what did you think? I thought, I, he really didn't help himself, did he? He he didn't. He walked into that hot, and I don't think he was a very good comedian either. No, he wasn't. He was a terrible <laughs> comedian. He, he, was, he really was a shit comedian. However, however, um, I watched it and we have touched upon this in the past. I'm not going to go too much into it now, but I had a stalker. Oh, yeah, you had a similar situation. Well, not It not was quite, actually yeah. so similar to that, that I found it a bit of a hard watch, if I'm honest. Oh, it's okay. Really brought it all back a little bit so i don't think i think it was very well made and very well done uh and all the rest of it and i can imagine that being fantastic entertainment if it's not something that you've like lived through but then you know yeah it's definitely some parts i just thought well, a lot of it was just so similar and the way it's i mean they're condensing it into a show so it's got to be fast moving to an extent but when it's real life and this is playing out over you know months or years it it can be quite subtle and you know the way they worm their way in they tell lies and they you know it's it honestly the same things that she lied about my stalker lied about as well at the start yeah. and it's like yeah it's really oh it was so creepy to watch it honestly <laughs> i, I it saw was. a tiktok from nigel farage denying that he ever went to one of her dinner parties i don't know if you saw when he scrolled through her, her phone in it uh all these no. politicians she has a whole bunch of politicians in her phone book oh yes of course <laughs> no he did he didn't that's actually quite funny that's actually funny um mm. but yeah i mean i think it was quite well done it kind of showed how these things can escalate um, Do you know what? I hope, I really hope that now people have seen that and people are aware that it is based on some, you know, something that was true. I really hope that people um, don't make the mistakes. I think it's very easy because I'm a bit of a soft touch, actually. <laughs> Not everyone believes that, but <laughs> I am a bit of a soft touch. And um, I hope I like to think that people would maybe recognise the signs by watching the show and maybe not have that happen to them. Hopefully, you'd 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 hope that people have taken something away from it. Mm, they like to think. It, so. I did but find it a bit weird when he followed her home. Yeah, that was weird. I mean, that was he a bit did weird. not help himself there because she spotted him, and then yeah. that kind of gives the idea that oh, maybe he likes me back. So he, yeah, there were there was some actions that he did that would would have exacerbated the situation or hurried it along. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think oh, I, 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 when I watched that bit, I was like, oh, what are you doing? Yeah. What are I you was doing? Like, I was shouting at like, the telly, stop no. following her, don't follow her, leave her. Yeah, be. don't follow her. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, God. And the bit where quite near to sort of the end of it, where he, um, he tells her to put it in an email, like all this dirty stuff that she wants to do, and she's recorded everything. And she's recorded every conversation they've ever had. Yeah, but didn't someone... And she reports him. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So the police wouldn't take it seriously then. But have you seen on Facebook who people think the actual Martha is? No. No, there is a Facebook profile. I'll have to send you the link. Um, but people yes. are speculating that. And you know what? It's scary because it looks like the actress they've cast... No. She, on Facebook, writes statuses as often as she writes them emails within the show. Oh, my like, God. Like, literally, it's, it's a post a minute. Where's this link? Send it and, to me. 
<laughs> and I'll find it in a sec. And her posts are written with the same kind of typos. Oh, yeah, because they, they kept all the typos and everything, didn't they? Yeah, so all the spelling mistakes and stuff. So it, this profile is like, if it's not her, then I don't know. that I You just... Pfft, it's got to be. I mean, it, it literally can't be anyone else. Show me, show me. <laughs> Let me find it now. Uh, what's yeah, it I need to see this. I'm, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to dig it out now. <laughs> <laughs> is this like an article or is this like le legit to this woman's page? This is this is legit. This is... <gasps> um, I'm going to stalk a stalker! <laughs> you're going to stalk that's the problem, isn't it? Oh dear. Oh no. Um, right, yeah, I've sent you the link so you can have Lovely. a look around that. Let's have a little look, shall we? Let's get some. Oh, okay. Is that her in the banner? Yes. Does look like her, doesn't it? <laughs> it does look like her. That's that really looks like her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just crazy how they cast it so true to the story like okay most <laughs> recent post and omg laura walker is still a bad dresser 25 years later what a mess i'd give anything not to be in this circus so so would i the boyfriend saying he wants to put the lights out lol what <laughs> <laughs> it is just like rumblings of a of a yeah there's there's a lot there's a, there's a lot on there. Oh my uh, god! But I, I don't know where we stand with naming. I don't know if we can name it. It's purely speculation. She's denied it over and over, and yeah, she I'm keeps definitely... putting that you know she's getting solicitors involved and all this. Uh, okay, fact, yeah, we, we definitely won't name her. I don't. Yeah, I don't think that's a smart idea. I, you know, as you say, there's no proof, but I see where it's coming from. You see, you can see why people have have guessed this. Um, yeah, 100%. Yeah, it's just, it's it goes on and on and on. Just so much the same. She also lives in London. <laughs> yeah, that's, everything matches up. It's crazy. That's actually crazy. <laughs> wow. But you'd think she would have privatised her stuff by now, wouldn't you? Well, that's the thing. It's, it, you know, she's gone, oh, it's not me, blah, blah, blah. I had have kind of stopped posting every two minutes. At that point. Mm. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. That is kind of... That's quite funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, I, yeah, I did really enjoy the show. I think it would have been even better if I hadn't have dealt with something very frighteningly similar myself. So, yeah. Yeah. I think they did it in a way as not to, like... You know. I think it was really good. And I liked how they sort of explained why he didn't sort of do anything about it because he'd had this other past trauma that sort of, you know, it felt lesser than that. And so he felt silly for for letting one slip by and, and you know, coming down on the other when it seemed like a lesser thing. I thought it was, yeah. I won't go too much into it because if, if anyone at home hasn't listened, that hasn't listened, hasn't watched it yet, then do go and have a watch. We definitely haven't given away the ending or anything as much as we've talked about it quite a bit. Because <laughs> um, it is really quite interesting. And then feedback us what your thoughts are on the whole thing. Yeah, we would love to know your thoughts on that. Yeah, definitely. There's, there's a lot to take away from it, to be fair. There is. There is. What was your biggest takeaway from it? The... <laughs> That has, don't never, never go off a free don't cup off, of tea. Yeah, don't give everyone, anyone a free drink at any point ever. No, never, <laughs> ever, ever. Not if you're working. It's a bit different if you buy someone a drink, right? Yeah. But he, yeah. he was a barman and he just handed him over, which I'd say if yeah. you're not spending your money, you, not, you know, you can't just, it's not a library, you can't just doss there all day. I think he just felt, she did get walk in looking a bit, like downtrodden and then she said she couldn't afford it which was weird wasn't it where was she getting her money because she was like she bought that big picnic hamper that had like it would cost like 200 quid or whatever oh yeah, and yeah. it's like where where were you getting that kind of money yeah weird to be fair she's been named in newspaper this person who's accused of 
being her. So I suppose we probably oh. can say her name. I don't. Mm, I suppose we could. Or we could, <laughs> mm. Wow, that's so similar, isn't it? Good God. Yeah. Is she Scottish? Yeah. <laughs> it's her. It's her. It is it's her. It's I'm sorry. It is, it <laughs> you yeah. can't tell me otherwise. It's her. <laughs> um, oh my God. In fact, in fact, she it does say in the thing. Um, she admits to befriending him and claims she just gifted him a t- pair of tarts. And yeah, so that's they've attributed her to 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 that. So it is her. It is her. It is definitely. It is her. Oh my yeah. god! Because she she they've attributed it to her and put. Um, oh, in fact, she's put. She's a highly competent lawyer. <laughs> of course she is. Yeah, she's apparently got a claim against Netflix. <laughs> yeah um, yeah okay <laughs> well you know i don't think you can do anything about that because your name wasn't mentioned in the show no my it's... dear <laughs> martha <laughs> <laughs> you, i can't remember what it was it so i'm in a few like vintage groups on facebook right and someone had posted something about um so what it was is um a tactic used commonly now on Vinted, thanks to someone who wrote an article about how great it is to do this. A tactic is that if someone likes an item that you're selling, you message them straight away and say, I'm just about to go and do a post run. So if you want this, I can send it out today. And, you know, apparently that gets people to buy stuff. Well, this this poor woman had liked something and the seller sent her about five messages in a row saying, if you'd like anything, I'm doing a postage run later. And then it was, I'm going to be leaving soon. Have you had a look yet? And then it was, <laughs> have you had a look yet? Have you had a chance yet? And then it was, I haven't actually been yet. So um, <laughs> it was just like, <laughs> and someone put in the comments, she screenshot it, put it in this group. And someone just put, is this Martha? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, <laughs> it is. It definitely is. <laughs> it did Martha. Oh, dear. Hearing me, brilliant though, brilliant top bands, top bands. We had. But uh, speaking of feedback, yes. did you want? Should we do a bit of feedback? Yeah, let's let's see okay. what feedback we've got. I've only got a little bit here in front of me. Okay, you well, you sent me three Andy. three clips, and I don't know who the fun hey. because I like to keep well, it a mystery. You... I don't I don't okay. listen ahead. I don't spoil the fun. No, I don't either. No. So I'll, I'll just read this bit out because it's just a tiny bit from Andy. He said, uh, Nicole's saying she was the mad dog lady. She'll never be as mad as the lady with the little dog who was mumbling before they both barked and went off laughing. <laughs> this sounds like a that? story that I've not heard. Yeah, I told you. That's how Andy knows because I told you on here. Oh, OK. <laughs> when I was out, I was out. I'll tell you again. I'll tell you again. So I was out walking my dog. This is a a few months back now i was out walking my dog and came across a lady with another chihuahua and um my dog's a bit of a wimp so i was like oh, oh go this see is where... low, go see low. yeah you barked and the back woman... <laughs> is this right yeah she, I... barked. she was she... yeah she was there going like just smiling at me looking like give me the crazy eye you know <laughs> and then she sort of went <laughs> <laughs> at me and i was like oh, oh. <laughs> and that just a woman just barked at me i don't know what <laughs> happened and then her dog went row, 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 at ivy who went and hid behind me and then this woman and her dog just walked off and she was there going <laughs> row, row, row. <laughs> and i was just like i don't know what just happened like i'm actually scared like i want to go home <laughs> So yes, that woman definitely a little bit more not so than I am. Yeah, just a touch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Andy, for that. Uh, have you got any others, or are we on to the audio? Audio, audio. Let's have it. Right, let's see who we've got here. Let me check my volumes. Oh yeah, my volumes up. Oh, I was ready and I didn't even realise it. There you go. The pictures of Hugh Edwards with his arse out, they were fake. Oh, okay. But the whole scandal, that was real. He was like sexting a teenager. I think his wife's still with him. No such thing as an ugly rich man after all. Hmm. No, true. It's true. Is he rich? Is he rich? Uh, one assumes he must get fairly well compensated for his job. I'm, I'm googling it now. See if he's on the rich list. Well, I don't know about rich, rich, but he's obviously doing um, all right. I get, he? but um, well, he's been paying, paying these teenagers, hasn't he? So <laughs> that's true. He might not have much. Do you life. want AS? 
Do you want ASMR while I open my Diet Coke? Yeah, go on. Let's have a bit of ASMR. Okay. Oh, lovely. We like that. Yeah, that was good, wasn't it? It was. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, because if we re recall back to the scandal in July last year, yeah, it was about paying £35,000 for inappropriate pictures. I mean, look, if you've got thirty-five grand disposable income to to get some saucy photos, I'd say that you're a rich man, yeah. Yeah, apparently his net worth averages around £3 million. <laughs> yeah. Which is yeah, about... Yeah, I'd say two mar point... married to him as well. <laughs> it's about £2.999 million pounds more than I have. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> share, share, the, share the wealth. Yeah. Do you know three million pounds though isn't that much, is it? <laughs> I mean No, it is. It's a life changing amount of money, but I'm saying it it's not a finite amount like I mean, an infinite amount I of money. I mean for you yeah. and for me, like we could put that in a bank account and we still make more in interest than Would we... I fuck put it in a bank account? Could you imagine? What are you suggesting? Like I wouldn't spend that in three minutes. No, oh, but, but if God. you if you did put it in a bank account, the interest each month yeah. would be more than what we currently spend in a month. Yeah, that's true, actually. So you could just live off of that. You could, you? Yeah, you could just put it in the bank and then just keep withdrawing the interest each month and yeah. just be, like, laughing. And then you've got three million to retire on. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Nice. That works quite well, yeah. Oh, you got me wanting to three million quid to spend now. Yeah, me too. I, I feel like that all the time, those days. It's not a now thing. It's, it's an always thing. I, I genuinely identify as a rich person, but I'm trapped in the body of a oh, there you go, person. Yeah, yeah I feel yeah, I feel the same. I can. I think totally they should relate. give me a money transplant to make it more better. Yeah, to, to get you out of the situation. Yeah, because I'm living a lie right now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine oh, a like that? I can't like live that. that. I mean, yeah. Well, I don't think you have to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we got some more feedback there. <laughs> yes, we have. <laughs> Wait. Oh, my God. Yesterday, I have just returned from Nicole's house maybe 20 minutes ago. Okay. And I was literally whining to her that I don't like how my WhatsApp's changed colour. It's turned green. I yeah. love green. But I don't like that my WhatsApp changed. It's weird. And I am with you. It needs to go back. 100%. Yeah. It, it, don't just and hate the, it when they just tweak little things like that. Well, do you know, the funny thing was is she showed it to me and mine doesn't look like that. Oh, mine okay. looks the same as it always did. Oh. So, but yeah, but then you weird. had the, the small case of the typing rather than the capital or something. Or the other I've way around. I've got the capitals. you got the capital. Yeah, I've got the capital, and... but not the lower case. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, it, different phones do different things. Then obviously, but I've got iPhone and Holly's got iPhone. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I know. I'm not. I'm not the programmer for WhatsApp. I know. We live ten minutes away from one another, and <laughs> I just don't understand. I, I feel I there's no equality in this world anymore. Steve, obviously, <laughs> we're left behind. I want to be annoyed about the things everyone else is annoyed about. <laughs> You you get your own things to be annoyed about. Don't worry about that. I do, don't I? I've always got something to be annoyed about. <laughs> right, what else have we got? Who's this one from? Hi, guys. How are you? You're getting spoiled now, aren't you? Uh, just about the whole dry road thing. Nicole has become such a huge thing. It's like pineapple on pizza. Okay. Nobody cared until it went on Facebook and now it's a huge debate. Oh, I cared. And there's there. like loads of uh, dry robe shaming groups. So <laughs> I'll tag you in those, but I don't understand them. Then basically men of beef, like you go in, if you're one of those weirdos that swim in the hoe on Christmas day and things like that, it's men of beef when you're coming out of swimming and it is Baltic. Now it doesn't really get that cold. That dry robe will certainly be thicker than my biggest coat, my Disney one, Nicole, you know what I mean. And I was sweltering in that most of this winter. I don't understand how people can deal with dry robes. But yeah, I'm going to invite you to the shaming groups. Come and join me. Oh my God. 
I can't believe it's a thing. Well, sorry. Uh, oh, dry robes. Right, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I didn't. I had no idea. So is that, it's trendy to have one, is it? Am I meant to run I out and buy one? I think, uh, no. God, no. Steve, come <laughs> on. Have some self-respect, please. <laughs> For goodness sakes. <laughs> when have I ever been trendy in the slightest? <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say, when have I ever had self-respect? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that works as well, to be fair. Oh, my goodness. No, we've got to have a little bit of self-respect here on top of... Well, actually, we don't, definitely don't have it here, do we? <laughs> this Hearing is where me. you come to just to feel better about your self-respect. Yeah, you can come and listen to us and just realise how great your life is. Yeah. Yeah. By comparison. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Although I haven't complained about being unwell this week. Have you noticed? Yeah. You see your fix now, then. No, I'm still okay. fucked. I just haven't complained about it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, um. oh dear. Me. Oh. No, it's, it's been a better week, shall we say. I, I, I've had a good week. That's it's been good. up and down, but it's mostly been all right. My leg is still very wonky, though, I have to say. You like, you still like, have an issues with your leg? Oh, my leg's really not right. <clears throat> no. I bet you're wishing you hadn't even attempted to go downstairs that day. I tell you what, I was going down this morning and I had a little plate in one hand where I had my my late night toast last night and my mug that I was bringing down from my late night tea and toast last night. And I was carrying them down and I saw Adam at the bottom of the stairs and I just went, I'm really frightened carrying things down the stairs now, (laughs) even little things. Like, what if I fall? I have no hands. (laughs) (laughs) so scared it really has traumatized me yes i wish i'd never gone down the stairs you're right yeah it gets you like that you're thinking yeah if i could have cut my time i would have given it another five minutes and i would have taken i would have just no i would have just let the dog piss on the floor oh okay just have done with it yeah i'd rather (laughs) rather clear up dog pee on the mat than i would freaking deal with the state my legs in it's been six weeks now (laughs) Oh dear. See, I was told it would be cured in six weeks. That that that's the top end for it. Well, it's definitely not right. But hey, uh, we move. It'll yeah. it'll get there, I'm sure, in its own time. <laughs> <laughs> I've here's a story I've seen like pop up a few times on my board. Um, okay. Have you heard of the co-op live? No, what's that? So it's a brand new music venue for Manchester. Okay. Because obviously okay. Manchester doesn't have enough music venues. No, it doesn't, no. You, you know, you've got Old Trafford, you've got the MEN, you've got various smaller ones, but, you know, Old Trafford and the MEN are like two of the biggest arenas in the country anyway. Yes. So yes. so now they've got them built an even bigger arena, or well, higher capacity than them. Oh, is that for when Taylor Swift comes back, is it? <laughs> Probably. I don't I don't know the obsession with Taylor Swift. I really don't. I don't know what's so Me special. Me either. Me All of her songs sound the same. They do. Uh, <laughs> um, and she just looks smug. Yeah, she does. And then she, she has a smug face. And she flies everywhere and is damaging the planet on it with yeah. her private jets. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, I'm not. Sure that, that might have been the pot calling the kettle black there, Steve. But then I suppose you don't have a private jet. I don't. <laughs> not, <laughs> not yet. I don't. Maybe, <laughs> We're waiting for that three million to come in. Yeah, when that three million comes in, maybe I might. I might get a, maybe a small one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the interest will pay for a private jet? <laughs> it depends if you're going to fly it yourself or if you're going to get someone else to fly it for you, doesn't it? I suppose. Uh, yeah. You could probably get a little Cessna. Yeah. It's not a jet, though, really, is it, Cessna? I saw a horror story the other day, and this was a true thing that happened years ago. This isn't recent, um, but I wasn't aware of it until I saw this, that uh, a whole plane full of people crashed and everyone died, zero survivors, because the pilot <clears throat> had his children in the cockpit and let them drive the plane. <laughs> You don't drive a plane. <laughs> well, fly the plane then. We do technically drive it, don't you? I suppose if it's on the ground, you could you could say that you're when you're taxiing, well, anyway, you could you could claim le- you're driving. He let them fly the plane, which yeah, ended up being a fatal mistake for an entire plane's worth of people. Jeez. Yeah. I mean, the, you you'd have thought you'd have gone. Well, you know what? Let's not crash it. 
But... Well, I mean, you wouldn't really have your... I mean, in this day and age, you wouldn't have your kids in the cockpit, would you? I mean, if if you had your own little private plane, then maybe. Oh, that's different. That's your own lives you're risking, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> that's true. But not in, like, a it's commercial... It's not the same as... Jet. No, it's not the same as... Yeah, a commercial flight. That's That's terrible. Yeah. Wow, was this a commercial yeah. jet? Yeah, it was, um, as far as I'm aware, yeah. Oh, okay, fair dues. Anyway, so... sorry, I interrupted you. <laughs> so, yeah, this co-op live arena is quite funny because they opened an in initial night at, like, okay. a soft warm-up. Who did the soft warm-up? Uh... Well, so... <laughs> that sounds so wrong, doesn't it? A soft warm-up. Soft opening... <laughs> what have you soft <laughs> <That's> so... <laughs> these aren't getting any better oh man who was it now someone performed there and <laughs> one person has performed there right yeah and and then it was meant to be like a few PK gigs so right I, I, I thought it was a music venue but unless PK has gone into singing then obviously it's a oh please no god no <laughs> must be a comedy arena as well then. um <laughs> but the hilarious thing is the it caused controversy when they did their soft launch because okay. loads of people had their tickets cancelled oh no so they decided they 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 cancelled most tickets and just okay. had a lot less capacity there. And it turns out they actually don't yet have it signed off by the building regs. Whoa, okay. So these PK concerts uh, that should have taken place on the 23rd and 24th of April okay. are now taking place, oh, last night and tonight. Right, 29th okay. and 30th of April. Well, that that'd be the night before now. Hopefully they've taken place. I don't I don't know. I don't know if they have or not. Yeah. But how embarrassing though because they've had all this time to build this and get it ready. And then the videos yeah. from when people went into that soft launch of the place, there was like cables <laughs> hanging out the walls and all sorts. No, like, that's it, not good, is it? It was not finished. <laughs> And you think a name, if you're putting a name on it like co-op, I mean, they it, they probably don't own it. They're probably just a sponsor. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Like like the MEN Arena. That's not even called the MEN Arena anymore, but everyone still calls it that. It's AO or whoever now. Um, yeah. But how embarrassing that if you put your name on something like that and then it's just hit by all these people that are looking forward yeah. to coming and seeing these these comedy gigs and then aren't actually being able to go and see it because they yeah, get it cancelled really at like last minute, like on the day. That's so bad, man. So Yeah, yeah that's poor. That's very poor. And that, so so they didn't let the full amount of people in? Uh, on the soft launch, they didn't. And then they've not let right. anyone in. Well, they didn't let anyone in. Well, they cancelled them PK gigs and rescheduled them for yeah. like a week later. Yeah, well, hopefully they've tied up the loose ends quite literally by this point. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> boxed in the cables and put a lick of paint up or something. Yeah, it's, Jesus, that's terrible. But what do we expect from this country these days? You know, I mean, we can't finish anything on time. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you want to build a road, and that takes forever. Like, I know, especially especially when you've had to start with a soft opening. Yeah, I mean, soft, soft opening, a soft are the worst. start. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't want it to take too long, do you? Oh you want dear. To get on with it. You just want to get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Glory, Go on then. What else have you got for us, Steve? What else have we got? Like... Yeah. Okay. So, um, <laughs> I've just seen this story. This is quite interesting. The there is a. Man, how do I summarise this? A little girl said monsters were in her bedroom. Okay. Yeah, this that made the news. Oh, <laughs> there's a monster in my bedroom. Well, it could have been Ian Huntley, you never yeah. know. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, uh, see. It could have been Peter Kay because he couldn't go and perform at his gig. Could have been uh, Kate and Jerry McCann because uh, <laughs> they're quite good at 
Losing children. <laughs> um, so when three-year-old sailor class began complaining of monsters in her bedroom, her parents thought it was just a figment uh, of over, Im- overactive imagination. Okay. But then, how did it get to that? So this was in North Ca- Charlotte, North Carolina. And basically okay. what it turned out was there was 60,000 bees within the wall. What? Yeah. <laughs> no wonder it sounded oh. like a monster. You just there's imagine- only there's only one course of action, I'm afraid. <laughs> you know what it is? It's do you remember that the Robo Dog, the the flamethrower? <laughs> yeah, that it's is like, the answer. Yeah, the, yeah that uh, is we, it. We found a use for it. We found a use for it. It is for people with bee infestations. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> that is it. That is, you just have to burn the house down. Yeah. start again. <laughs> Cut your losses. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, because it's like when you see these videos of like people going and removing bees, and they always go and get the queen and put it in a clip and all that, and then all the others follow. Yeah. How would you find the queen? There's sixty thousand bees knocking around. Like you can see, they had to pull, pull all the plaster out the wall. But then, how do you go? Oh look! Oh look! There's sixty thousand of the buggers in here which one's the queen yeah must have been a right nightmare i think i think there is a way of finding the queen like if you know about bees and their behavior and how they nest and stuff like that i think there is like rhyme and reason to it but i'm glad it's not my job i'm just letting you know Fuck that. so the beekeeper apparently has removed between 55 and 65,000 bees and 100 pounds or 45 kilograms of honeycomb. Oh, nice. <laughs> you could probably make some money out of that, couldn't you? Yeah. Um, uh, put, but them home... back. put them back. But... Put them back. <laughs> but the homeowner... No, put, them back. put them back in. I want the honey. Yeah. But the homeowner estimates that they've caused around 16,000 pounds in damages. Sell the honey, you'll be fine. Honestly, Sell- have you seen how much honey is these days? Jesus. <laughs> I don't quite think it's 16 grand worth. 45 kilogram. Uh, don't know. Unless, you unless they're extra Manuka special. Honey is? What's that? Have, have you seen the price of Manuka honey? What's special about Manuka? What does Manuka mean? I don't know. It's a type of honey. Go, go and look it up. Go on. Manuka then- is... What is a Manuka? Jeez, okay, that is expensive. Go on, how much? Go on. Holland go on, and Barrett. Go on. Oh, I mean, that's yeah. expensive as it is. Manuka Lab, Manuka Honey, MGO. What's an MGO? Uh, MGO is genetically mod- modified, isn't it? Oh, is it? Okay, well, that's 25 quid. Okay, yeah. Uh, Acardo. Oh, that's got 500 plus MGO. Oh, it must be some kind of rating. You, you oh. want as many MGOs as you can have. Maybe it's not what I thought it was then. <laughs> <laughs> um, 225 grams, 20 quid. Yeah. That is Expensive big money then. stuff. Yeah, so uh, I mean, put the bees back in. Give them some NGO or whatever the fuck that is. It does say no Manuka honey is made in Australia and New Zealand. Oh, fuck. Uh, by bees that pollinate the native leptospermum... <laughs> Spocker, right. Spoparium bush. <laughs> they so pulp. just got to get some fancy bushes. Well, it's also known as a tea tree. Oh. Although that's a, not as funny a name as the Leptospermum Spoparium bush. Sounds like it goes with your soft opening, really, it doesn't, doesn't it? It? It, it? might have <laughs> yeah. a soft opening. That's, that's... Well, I mean... They must have yeah. found a soft <laughs> opening to get in there and... <laughs> Make their hive. <laughs> Gosh. I need a fan. It's only bloody April. <laughs> oh, it's nearly May, though, isn't it? On day of release, May the 1st. May the 1st be... No, that's the 4th. That's the 4th. <laughs> yeah. That's my dad's birthday on Star Wars Day. Oh, well, happy birthday to your dad. Thank you. Hope yeah, your mum it on. treats him. Puts on a good spread. <laughs> <laughs> on a good spread, I'm sure. Yeah, I think they'll just about be back from their holiday in Spain by then. So, oh, are they yeah. still away? Yeah. Oh, man, out. it's like the world's longest holiday. 
I'm yeah, well, mum went, mum went for two weeks. My brother went um, a few days ago, and then my dad went the other day as well to join them. Uh, I think I think they're all coming back Wednesday. Yeah, tomorrow they're back. Tomorrow oh. they're back on day of release. They're back today. They're back. They're back. <laughs> they're back. <laughs> Hope you've landed safely. <laughs> Hope you had a nice travel. I'm sure. I'm sure they will have done. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll get some feedback about it. Let us know how hopefully. it was, mother. We want to. We want to know all the ins and outs about this this holiday wow. in Spain. What have you been doing for two weeks? Probably sat on a sun lounger. To be oh, fair, man. I know Tell it was my, my aunt's birthday. My aunt's birthday was yesterday, so that was all a part of it as well. So, yes. Yeah. I'm, at the moment, I don't know about you, but the weather here is like all over the place. Yes. Yeah, oh I, keep my thinking, God, I keep thinking it's going to be spring. Well, it is spring. Look, the sun's out. And then, like, it'll become later on in the day and it'll just tip it down. Well, I'm pissed off because <clears throat> we normally have a good week of a heat wave in April. Where is it? Where was that? Because we didn't get it. We've, we've, not, we've not had it. We've. <laughs> no. We had two days without any rain and that, that was our lot. I think I think you're right. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just, I am right. I know I'm, I'm absolutely right. Absolutely disappointed with because and then and then the, you got the times where it's sunny. You're thinking, you know what? I'm going to go and work outside. You know the joys of working from home. You just take your computer and your monitor outside and sit there in the sunshine, basking yeah. the joy. If it's been yeah. bloody windy, yeah, it has. Yeah, and it's like why? Why can we not have no wind, sunshine? Or if you do have wind, yeah. have, have have a nice breeze. Not like something really cold, just like a comfortable breeze on a hot day. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm yeah. dreaming of. It's not going to happen, is it? I feel like this is the, like, th this whole start of the year has been a bit of a washout, isn't it? Like, just so wet to go with the soft opening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the tetrasperm or whatever. Talking, it talking called. of <laughs> talking of the climate and whatnot, um, I'm quite keen to watch the new Clarkson's Farm. Oh, do you know what? I actually watched like two episodes of like the first series the other day. Oh, did you? What do you think? It wasn't the it wasn't the two first episodes. Oh, it's because just because I've obviously I've obviously stuck it on before. I oh, okay. must have done. But I don't remember it anyway. So I f I found them quite funny. Do you know what? And and it's I think he's a dick. I still think he's a dick. <laughs> I'm watching it and I just think, God, you're a fucking imbecile. You're an idiot. You, I can't bear him. I really can't. But I love the fact that everything goes wrong for him. I saw him get kicked in the nuts <laughs> by a, by a sheep, and I thought I can I can get down with this. Yeah, I could watch this. He <laughs> tied you. Um, it was great. Everything went wrong, and I just thought. And all these stupid harebrained schemes he comes up with, which are clearly retarded and aren't going to, excuse <coughs> silly sausage, uh, aren't going to work, you know, like... The thing is, though, and then when it, at, at the end yeah. of the day, he is a millionaire. Yeah. And he... He what he wants. He kind of, you can tell he... I think he, he started off doing it just like, as like, something to keep him busy. And oh, I think it was a lockdown hobby, wasn't it? Yeah, and now it's kind of become... He's 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 got really into it. Yeah, and he's. I mean, most people just to... got into house plants in bloody lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> Not Clark said he's got to buy the old farm. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, but I so think he, it is. I'm a, looking forward to seeing it. Definite... Apparent, apparently, he's sorry. Apparently, he's changing his views on climate change. Oh, is he? So he must believe it exists now. Maybe he's going to get an electric car next after swearing well, he never... It does exist. What? What? Of course climate change exists. Okay. Do you not think it does? I don't know. Jury's out. I think it's always existed, just, though. I don't think it's new. <laughs> I think it's always changed. Do you think we're just still coming out of the Ice Age? <sighs> The fucking feels like it. It's been <laughs> chilly today, I can tell you that. Been sat in my jumper all day, shivering. I like to start debates, so let us know what you think of uh, climate change <laughs> and electric cars. Worth it or let not? Let us know.
Topicopedia.online for that sexy <laughs> feedback form. Let us know or contact us on any of our socials. Yes, do it. So yes, uh, yeah, I'm definitely it. I'm definitely looking forward to watching the series. Uh I know you can't stand him, but I, I like the other characters as well. That Caleb that he's wrote into helping him. Oh, that young one, yeah. Yeah, and and that guy he can't make out a word he's saying. <laughs> See, I can understand him. Can <laughs> I do you know it was one of those bits. I'm like yeah, I do generally understand him, but I'm I get the impression Clarkson hasn't got a clue and he's just like, Yeah, all right, mate, whatever. <laughs> yeah, he just yeah. just agree. Just agree and walk off. <laughs> but the thing is he like he asks him about whatever and then he starts and he goes on and on and talks dead fast. And you just oh, like Honestly, it's such a farmer thing. I've known yeah. so many farmers. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they're all a bit like it. Yeah, and I'm sorry, but in the in the heart of Cornwall, they they speak with a way worse accent than that. And I was brought up around it, and I still don't bloody know what half of them are saying most of the time. <laughs> oh my god, it's so stressful. I hate it. There's nothing worse. And you're like, sorry, say that again. And then they just at you, and it's like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, man? Use use the Queen's English, King's English. Oh god. That was a bit of a slip, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Your Majesty. Sorry, Your Highness. <laughs> forgive me. Forgive me. That, anyway, yes. that is a question, though. Who? Oh, apparently he's back in. Is he back doing royal duties now? I've not a clue. Not a I clue. I thought I saw something about that, but at the same time, you got people doubting how well he's doing. Oh, I hope he's doing okay. No, we can't. What it will. It would mean having to reload the national anthem back onto the uh, the database, onto the hotkey, because I've removed it now. <laughs> oh, no, Steve. Oh, God. How will you cope? I know, because <laughs> I've replaced it with... Uh... Oh, what a day. So that means I'd have to then get rid of that and put it back in. That's That'd be terrible. Yeah, but just think, when it's done, you can, up, you can replace it with the other Harvey quote. The one we all know and love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, so, yeah, news in the Telegraph of the King. Um, hope rises for King and Prince Harry reunion next week. Oh, no. Okay. Monarch and Duke of Sussex will be in London at the same time, although sources observe His Majesty will be quite busy. So he might, be too, he might be too busy for a catch-up with his own family. Are we talking about the king being too busy? Yeah. As he should be. <laughs> What's that, Harry? No, I'm washing my hair, mate. I'm so sorry. It just, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, Thursday afternoon. Yeah, I'm washing my hair, mate. Again, yeah. can't keep it too clean these days, can you? <laughs> oh, Prince, yeah, Prince, Prince William can't really use that excuse, can he? No, he's got to have a manicure or something yeah. instead. <laughs> he's going to have to come up with something else. <laughs> He's going to have to come up with something else. Getting his eyebrows waxed or something. Yeah, I don't know. He's, yeah, he's, he's he's very thin on top. Very. He actually makes me feel good about my hairline, which is saying something. Aww. <laughs> you can get a hair, hair plant tra plan trant. Pl hair plant trant. Trant. Some hair plants. <laughs> you can get a hair tra plant trant. <laughs> do, you get, do you get these hair plants off this that posh website you're on about? I've actually just dribbled a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you can get hair transplants. Oh, okay. Oh, I would have been really embarrassed if I fucked it up at that time. <laughs> so, yeah, you can literally get hair transplanted for where you're starting to thin. But right. you know, it scares me a little bit because if you get like your hairline done, yeah. What if the rest of it falls out and then you've got these weird little patches at oh, the front yeah. where you've got your what are you going to do? Put them in pigtails and just hope for the best? Like, do well, a no, comb you, backwards. No, you have another hair transplant, wouldn't you, for where it's... Yeah, they cost freaking thousands, though. Where do they get the hair from? I assume, like, the back of your head or something. Oh, so you got to just move your hair around. I, I, do you know what? So I really can't remember If you move your hair around, it's basically an expensive comb-over. Well, kind of, but they transplant each hair. Each could you not just like hair. make a wig out your pubes and just, just wear that? <laughs> what? That's hair that just carries on growing no matter what. Like, to be fair, perms are really in at the moment. Oh, 
and it, <laughs> that would save you a job, wouldn't it? It would. That'd save you 40 quid at the hairdressers <laughs> or however much it costs for a perm nowadays. Yeah, why not? Yeah. <clears throat> there you go. I, mean, I came up with that idea. I'm copywriting it. Anyone wants to do yeah, it? Yeah, do it. I want some of the if money. If you want to grab Steve by the short and curly, yeah. you can just grab his... <laughs> Grab the top of his head. <laughs> you, you'll have him then. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a good idea. I'm, I'm going with that. <laughs> Just we don't have chats and shit sometimes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I just don't understand <laughs> why some bits of hair just like stop growing and other bits of hair just grow more or like you start growing hair in your ears and your nose and shit like that. Yeah. Like, oh, I know. Yeah. Like just, Age. just stay on my head, like. But it happens for women too, and I don't think that's talked about enough. Like, you know, as your hormone levels change as you get older... How do you, you know get... you're still 21? I know, but I know about this stuff because I know about everything, oh, okay. as we know. Um, <laughs> but you get, like, thicker hair on your top lip. Some some women will grow a little bit of a beard even. Um, wow, okay. And just generally you get a little bit hairier on your body and... Um, Oh, there's all sorts of things that happen. Your, your actual head hair thins out and, yeah, lots of things that, that they just don't really... It's not talked about because it's, you know, unseemly or whatever. But, yes, women go through it all as well. Okay, at least I'm not on my own. No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Oh, where are we up to? <clears throat> I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let uh, me see if there's anything else going on in the world that's yeah, we'll worthy of notification. Um, yeah. Pff, uh, getting warmer this week, we can hope, can't we? <laughs> oh, I believe that when it happens. Yeah. Certainly warmer today that's for sure it, I'm freezing. It, it makes me laugh the way they make so many news stories out about the weather it, it's not yeah. journalism is it no and they've got to try and make it out to be like as as essential sensationalized as they can all the time although this article just yeah. says getting warmer this week whereas usually you get like <laughs> oh we're gonna have the apocalypse of rain and wind and it's gonna be storm whoever <laughs> and we're gonna see the fastest winds we've seen since 1947 yeah i don't think that's news no because it's lies isn't it it's, yeah. it's all lies if, if they're saying it's gonna get warmer we don't believe it if they're saying it's gonna be wet we just don't want to know it and to say it's, know that that's it's gonna true. snow you know it's either gonna snow when you're not working <laughs> <laughs> or are you going to get out of it's just not going to snow at all no uh, it's going to snow in bloody scotland is where it's going to snow well, it's yeah, not going to snow where yeah. here where i need it <laughs> talk, i don't get to have the snow days i don't get to have fun talk of scotland i am there ah. this this weekend be careful what you say then eh yeah because i don't want Obviously, I'm not there for a public appearance, just to put that out there. So don't go stalking him. Don't go stalking him. Martha. <laughs> <laughs> now that we've talked about you. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, we we booked an Airbnb because it was cheaper to book an Airbnb, a three-bedroom yeah. house, than it was to have two nights in a hotel, two rooms for two nights in a hotel. Okay. Oh, oh, no, it nice. was about the same price, I think. But then by the time you factor in breakfast... Hey, you know what? Yeah. I looked on Facebook at where it is, and just down the road there is a um, a place, that like a little cafe thing. Right. And it says, English breakfast, toast and tea, £3.50. Oh, OK. On Google. So I'm hoping that's current, because that's... That's not bad for a breakfast, is it? Is it literally just for toast and tea, though? <laughs> no, it's a <laughs> full English breakfast. A well, I mean, full I mean, English, yeah. I think yeah. I think it does mean a full English is in the full a full English, not not as in is English toast and English tea, which I which hope it could I hope well be. It is. <laughs> yeah, you never quite know, do you? I no. wouldn't trust it myself. <laughs> but yeah, no. If, if that is a full English, I would expect it to be quite a small one. But yeah, why not? That's not bad. No, exactly. 
I mean, for that price, you could get two, couldn't you, really? You could, yeah. <laughs> if you felt like I it. I've, I've eaten so much tonight. Do you know what? I decided I've never cooked meatballs before, ever. And I thought, I'm going to do that. So I bought some meatballs. They arrived last night. And I cooked half of them. Oh, did you just then... get them as meatballs? Yeah. Oh. So I cooked them up so you... and I made a nice sauce. And I cooked them, and then so I fried them off a bit first. Put me a nice did, sauce in. Did that you I season made. your balls? No. Yeah, you, know, you didn't season it. I was saying no. that you should have come with seasoning. You got them ready made, didn't you? Yeah. If I'm making it like a, out of mince, I'll put obviously my seasoning it in my balls. Oh no, they were definitely. You know, you got you got to add your your salt and whatnot. Yeah. No. I, you, well, you need, I, you need them slightly, I added that slightly salty. To, of course. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> got to have your salty balls um but yeah they were gorgeous they were good and i've i've never even had spaghetti and meatballs before like from anywhere ever so i made it myself and it was gorgeous i i kind of had to wing it a bit did lady in the tramp never sell it to you no (laughs) theirs was dry (laughs) looked freaking awful least appetizing thing in the world not only that not only that, if I was eating a bit of spaghetti and I found out that someone else was eating my same bit of spaghetti, <laughs> I don't know if I'd throw up or fight them. Like, honestly, <laughs> fuming. Oh, dear. Fuming. Nicole doesn't share food. So what, what sauce did you have? So I used passata, which is basically... Tomato. Strained... Well, it's tomato, yeah. It's just smooth tomato. Uh, I put in a little bit of cream cheese, I put in a vegetable stock cube, salt and pepper, a little bit of paprika, some oregano, and a little bit of cayenne pepper to give it a bit of warmth. And Not yeah, bad. I put so after I'd lightly fried my meatballs, I popped the sauce in to let them marinate and sort of let it cook down a little bit. And then when my spaghetti was cooked, I threw that in, tossed it all around a bit, and then served it up. And it was genuinely one of the best things I've ever made, I think. You've made me so hungry now. Oh, so I'd be tempted to it. use, like, I quite like um, pepper sauce. Pepper What's sauce? pepper sauce? Peppercorn sauce. Well, like, peppercorn, yeah, 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 yeah. Or the sauce yeah. that they have at um, Ikea. Ah, uh, well, I've not been what to an Ikea, have I? Have you never had an Ikea meatballs? No, we've had this discussion about two years ago, to be have you, fair. Have you never been to Ikea since? I've never, I've never been to IKEA in my life. Full stop. Never been. IKEA. My nearest one is in Exeter, and I don't drive. Oh dear. <clears throat> we don't have an IKEA uh, below Exeter. I'm surprised you don't have an IKEA. That's ridiculous. I'm um, putting out an appeal to IKEA. Yeah, please Can you sponsor come us to Plymouth. No, just come to Plymouth. <laughs> yeah, sponsor us, but also come to Plymouth, please. <laughs> And I'll buy you meatballs. Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, people. Oh. <clears throat> testing the studio you... door while I'm in it. Have that was the studio door, was, was it? Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't the weather. It needs its WD-40. Windy with splatterings of uh, muddy rain. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> I've forgotten what else we were talking about there. Where are we up to? Me too. What were we talking about? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just, yeah, we were talking about meatballs. Yeah, meatballs are a good meal, to be fair. And I am oh, fine of Ikea. Yeah. If I go to Ikea, I've got to have the meatballs. I want to go to Ikea to try them, because I need to know if they're as good as mine. Yeah, I mean, I imagine yours are pretty good. They were fucking I'm, banging. I'm I sure can't you know even what, lie to I'm you. sure you know what you do with meatballs, so... I'm gonna... Oh, I know how to handle some balls, don't you worry about meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um because yeah you can actually buy them frozen as well at um they're not cheap though ikea meatballs seven pound fifty for a kilogram uh, okay they are good gosh though. they are good gosh well i bought <laughs> just a tray of just just the balls yeah from tesco it was like less than a fiver for a cook 12 so there was 24 yeah Okay. We've got enough to have them again. I've put them in the freezer. Yeah. <laughs> you got cold balls. Put them balls. in the freezer. Got cold balls. Yeah, frozen <laughs> balls. Yeah, if you ever thought about getting your whatever's frozen, 
There you go. See, I'm <laughs> testing it out here first. <laughs> Frozen the salty balls. Uh, oh, for God's sake! We are awful. We are actually children. <laughs> we are. We never grew up, did we? Yeah. I like, it, oh, in 102 God, episodes, you're not getting any better. It's ne- nearly ever, as bad as your it, meme last week. To be fair, what the one that won? No, are you kidding me? Of course it won. Of course it won. Of course it did. Well, there you are. Our listeners are as bad as us. They are. Love them. Love them all. Love How many did you win by? Is. Go on. Oh, not a lot. Okay. No, you, you edged. Edged. Uh, right. Mine's, oh, mine's, totally an, edged mine's it, another yeah. another pun this week. Okay. Uh, so this is two farmers talking, and so one saying to the other. Oh, I'll tell you, Steve, I've been having some real issues with my flock of cows. And the other guy goes, herd of cows. And he goes, because I've heard of cow- cows, I've got a whole flock of them. <laughs> <laughs> it, I really like that yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> it's silly, but it's fun. Yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> Oh, yours is probably going to win. It depends. It depends. Because mine's gone down the dark humour route. Oh, okay. Go on then. So obviously, you know, OJ Simpson. What was his? What was the girlfriend called that he... I've got no um, idea. Nicole something, wasn't it? Nicole. Was it? Well, anyway, it's a picture of them two. Okay. Right. And across OJ Simpson, it says cancer. And then across Nicole, whatever her name was, it says OJ Simpson. Okay. Well, because he died from cancer. Recently, oh, did oh, okay. <laughs> I yeah. see. I see. And he supposedly murdered her. So, oh dear, it's a dark <laughs> one. It is a dark one. But I didn't want to do it when it first happened because I thought it might be too soon. Oh yeah. Oh but... yeah. I see it now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah so... Fair play. Fair play. We'll go with that. Yeah. Yours was definitely funnier, and I feel like that tends to be. What it's all about for meme of the week? We'll we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Well, we'll we'll see, won't we? Do people like silly, light-hearted humour, or are they dark bastards? <laughs> I don't know. It depends. Uh, <laughs> it depends, it what, depend. depends on the mood, I suppose. Uh, it definitely does. Why does a mermaid wear seashells? Uh, I don't know. Because she outgrew out. Because she outgrew her bee shells. Oh dear, oh, okay. Terrible that one. Uh, what do you call the lesbian version of a cock block? A clam jam. I like that. Uh, a beaver dam. Ah, oh, mine was better. You know what it was, to be fair. I'm going to have to go to BuzzFeed <laughs> and tell them to rewrite the jokes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it wasn't BuzzFeed, it was Best Life. It's just still starts with oh. a B. Oh, I've, I've got the same one, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't, don't doesn't mean you can search up the answers. What did the O say to the Q? I've got no idea. Dude, your dick's hanging out. <laughs> it took me a while oh. to get that. I'm glad, I'm glad you laughed. I'm glad you did, because for a minute I just thought, oh, it's just not that funny <laughs> and the tumbleweed's coming through. <laughs> oh, dear. What else have I got here, then? Um, oh, um... What's the difference between your boyfriend and a condom? You can... Don't know. Condoms have evolved. They're not so (laughs) thick and insensitive anymore. (laughs) (laughs) I like that one, actually. (laughs) I thought it'd be something about using it once and throwing it away, but... Oh! (laughs) Savage! I like that as well, then. (laughs) Anyway, anyway, I think on that note, I think we'll leave it there for this week. Thank you ever so much for joining us for another episode of Topicopedia. Do get on to Topicopedia.online where you can vote for your favourite meme of the week on the homepage. Also, fill out our sexy feedback form with any of your feedback, anything that comes to mind, send it in, especially on the TV show Baby Reindeer. Uh, And of course, you can get in touch with us via any of our socials as well. And we'll see you again next week. Bye. Bye bye.